All right, so let's try something we've never done before. And I'm not even sure who I'm talking to because I'm sitting in my studio all by myself. Um, I'm just gonna try and shoot my very first impression. I've never seen this thing. Well, I mean, I've seen pictures of it online, but this is literally the first time that I'm touching this thing. I hate unboxing videos with a passion, so we're not going to make that, we're not going to make this be that, but I do want to give first impressions of this. It's kind of something I wish I had done with my Empress review, the Empress Reverb. So let's just connect this thing up and see what we got. I am literally not going to be a professional at this at all. This is going to come from a total newbie point of view. All right. Let's try this out. I'm playing a uh, 2015 Gibson Les Paul with the uh, mini humbuckers into a clean solid state amplifier and I'm looking for a pick there's only 500 of them in this room I have to find one of those 500 presets okay preset mode manual mode I don't know if this thing has any presets on it let's see what they give us for presets looks like one was a spring two is a plate three is a hall four is a serene let's just see what those sound like going straight into this and this these are going straight out to two amps in stereo so no other effects in the line there's a preset 2 sounds like which is a plate Serene. So Cave and Serene are two things that I'm not familiar with. Obviously we all know these ones, but looks like Cave and Serene are pretty unique to this pedal. That's pretty cool. I'm noticing that it's very warm. Let me switch to the bridge pickup and see what happens. seems really dynamic in the way that when I really dig in right there the it makes the reverb like more powerful spring everything at 12 o'clock these knobs have a nice feel to them
So I don't know if there's an option for full wet. But I'm not getting full wet by doing this. Sounds really nice. It's interesting that when I turn a knob, it kills the reverb. I've never seen that in a pedal before, but it's not a not a uh, killer for me. Just whatever. Let's try something really dark. Let's try room. I like room to be like big, but like I should say like a lot of it, but like a small room. So it dies off really quick. Maybe just a bit of pre-delay. That's pretty close. Maybe. That's nice. Okay. Kind of digitally sounding to me in that last bit there. Kind of that. Kind of has that like. Blah, blah, blah. Hard to describe, but it's almost like it's trying to repeat itself digitally. Let's 
see what like a maximum hall does. <laughs> So it only cuts the signal if you mess with the pre-delay. Doesn't do it if you mess with the others. Probably a reason for that. I'm not sure what it is yet. to do with my reverbs it's a similar thing I like to do with my delays is I put the decay up pretty strong but have the tone backed off and the uh, mix a little bit down so it's just kind of in the background you can have tone either way for that really but it's just more present when it's up is. So we're going to put everything at noon. Alright. Curiosity has got the best of me. I mean, kind of self-explanatory. I know what a cave is. Maybe it says in the manual. The only thing worse than reading a manual is watching a video of someone else reading a manual. Well, there's no description of what the cave is that I can see. The only thing worse than watching someone reading a manual is when they don't find what they're looking for. But we found it here. Cave is a reverb that can be used for sound effects or volume swell. Magnificent and pure reverberation sounds as if you were playing in a cave can be obtained. Told you it was self-explanatory. While we're here, let's have a look at Serene. Frequency bands of reverberation sounds will also change according to the complex reverberation pattern design. You can get pleasing reverberation sounds as if they were resonating from another space. Well, that's exactly what I would have thought. All right, cave. Still in the neck pickup.
Let's see what maximum is on a cave. Sounds like a million racquetballs being poured onto a gym floor. Like a far away gym floor. Still getting this funky like want 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 thing in the signal. It's like a Is that what people mean when they say it sounds digital? All right, let's try the final mode, serene. This knob just you don't have to turn it back, it just keeps going. Put everything at noon again. Still on the neck pickup. Kind of imagining this will be like a, not really a shimmer, but like, you know, like some ambient thing. It's kind of shimmery. Let me go bridge pickup and see like maximum shimmeriness. pick up again or neck sorry let's try maximum decay Alright, there it is, at a glance. Six modes, uh, manual mode, preset mode, the ability to change presets on the fly without uh, a separate MIDI controller, uh, four knobs that we'd all be familiar with, an encoder knob, bypass switch. It's got a click, but it's got a very quiet click. It's not like those really loud ones that from the olden days. Stereo in, stereo out. Not sure what that switch is, I'll have to look at that. Oh, line level maybe, input level. Mm. Oh, and then a kill dry, okay. And then it's got MIDI in, so I would imagine you can do a whole ton of presets with MIDI.
you would assume 122 presets, but I thought this had less than that. Looks like maybe with MIDI you can only recall those four. Yeah, unless I find otherwise, it looks like four is the number of presets, whether you use MIDI or not, which seems like that's kind of an oversight. Anyway, there it is. It's a lot smaller than I thought it would be um, if you were going to compare it to a standard pedal size. There's a Chase Bliss Brothers. So it's only slightly larger than a brother's, if you look at it that way. Anyway, that's my 21 and 53 second first look. Thanks for watching.